Knowing how to make use of for loop can help you solving complex problems. The following program will make a loop of sequential set of numbers and you can use the idea to make a stopwatch application in MATLAB. Open the guide. We need a static box push button. Double click. Add some color. Increase the font. We'll give the tag name loop. And we'll give this okay. and let the tag be push button 1 save the file so I'm saying as loop and you'll have the editor open as soon as you save the file look for a push button 1 callback function and now enter the program we are using the for loop right I equals to one, one to five. Set of handles dot loop string will print i. This will print the value of i into the static box whose tag name is loop. We'll set the time. Pause of one stands for one second. I will just 0 0.5 half second and the loop done now run the program okay give 10 run it We'll just speed up this uh, 0 0.15. Okay, I'll give 100 and 0 0.01, 0 0.01. As you see that this ends just after one loop and we can repeat this process to infinite number of times just by using one more for loop. Let me show you that. Go to the callback function, add one more loop to this block. So this block has to be repeated infinite number of times then for i I not stands for infinity and the loop. Let's decrease the pause time and now run it. This will not stop until you close the window. and hopefully this will give you a basic idea of how to use a for loop and also hopefully use the idea to make a stopwatch kind of application where you'll be using three push buttons and three static boxes each push button taking care of each static box and one having the pause time of microsecond the other with seconds and the other with the minutes so you can also try this thanks for watching